So, as the Google Pixel 9 series launch approaches, leaks continue to reveal details about the upcoming phones. The latest leak focuses on the vanilla Pixel 9's performance, shown through a benchmark listing on Geekbench 6. This listing confirms that the Pixel 9 is powered by the new Tensor G4 chip, achieving a single core score of 1,653 and a multi-core score of 3,313. These scores are lower compared to competitors like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, and show a slight decline from the Pixel 8's performance with the Tensor G3. However, benchmark scores can vary due to different testing conditions or lack of proper optimization, so these numbers might not fully represent the Pixel 9's final performance. The leak also confirms previous information about the Tensor G4's core configuration. The Pixel 9 features a prime core clocked at 3.1 GHz, three cores at 2.6 GHz, and four cores at 1.95 GHz. The listing confirms 8 GB of RAM, consistent with earlier rumors, and the continued use of the Mali G715 GPU from the Pixel 8. Additionally, the Pixel 9, along with the 9 Pro, underwent testing on Antutu last month. The Pixel 9 scored 1,016,167 points, while the Pixel 9 Pro achieved 1,148,452 points. The new model in the series, the Pixel 9 Pro XL, scored 1,176,410 points, utilizing the same Tensor G3 chip. Leaked images of all three devices reveal a similar camera cutout design. The Pixel 9 sports a dual camera setup, while the 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL feature a triple camera arrangement. While much about the Pixel 9 series remains under wraps, these leaks provide a glimpse into the anticipated specifications and performance. The core configuration and RAM specifications suggest a balance between performance and efficiency. The continued use of the Mali G715 GPU indicates confidence in its graphical capability. The Antutu scores offer another perspective on the Pixel 9 series capabilities. While the Pixel 9 score places it slightly behind its Pro counterparts, the differences are not vast. The higher scores of the Pixel 9 Pro and Pro XL could be attributed to optimizations and possibly enhanced cooling mechanisms or other hardware tweaks. As we await more details, it's evident that the Pixel 9 series aims to build on its predecessors while introducing new technologies and refinements. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Google Pixel 9 series? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.